So when you're talking about the energy management system in a helmet, especially the subverter, you've got to be able to see the inside of the helmet. This is a synthetic slip system. It's actually a polycarbonate material. It's about eight mils thick, which means it's about one tenth the thickness of our competitor slip systems. You can see, actually maybe you can't, it actually is adhered to the EPS. The energy absorption in a helmet, uh, the way it's designed is, you've got multiple things going on. You've got a hard hit on the outside, it transfers here, which this is a crushable material. It actually gives its own life in order to protect yours. By adding this additional slip surface, you get two things happening. The first is, in addition to it uh, spreading out the energy flow, which it does, it, it being so thin, it allows it to crumple so that it's not going to be like like a plate hitting your head. It's very soft and it's designed to work in conjunction with the inner padding. That padding has the, the proper amount of traction essentially to allow this to float back and forth. And really what it does is it enhances the way the human body was intended to protect itself. It looks a little bit funny but you can see if I do this and if you do it to yourself you'll see your scalp has a certain amount of slip. That's how your head was designed to protect your brain. It's one part of it in addition to a fluid that surrounds your brain. Now, the, the human body, as you can imagine, really wasn't designed to fall off a motorcycle from a big whoop at about 45 miles an hour. So this takes that same system that your human body has and enhances it to allow for motorsports.